Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragic MTG, and today it's mail day uh, from a fan of the channel by the name of Jason. I have a nice box here with, uh, the only thing left is his name. <laughs> uh, uh, this is being billed as a uh, vintage pack opening he sent to me. I don't know what's in here. Uh, the deal is I'm going to open them and I'm going to send them back to him. So these are not my cards to keep. Just kind of a fun thing. He wanted to see them open on camera. I'm more than willing to accommodate. Uh, because I love opening packs, right? Who doesn't? So let's get into these and see what we got. Um, pretty heavy, like a good amount of packs here. I don't know what this would be. It could be anything from, I think he said vintage. Could be anything from <laughs> Alpha all the way to Innistrad. That's still vintage. Here we go, Kaladesh. That's vintage. All right, let's see. I'm going to read this note here. All right, here. Return info at the bottom. We will redact that. Hey, tragic longtime viewer, fan of your content. Close with some goodies. Open our channel. Plus a gift. Oh, I do get a gift. I get to keep the extras. Love your old school pack openings. Ah, oh, thank you very much. It's like relieving pack cracking from back in the day, and then you don't have to do it, right? Unless you have access to a lot of this stuff. Very expensive, some of this stuff. Oh, he even gave me some sleeves. That's cool. Unhinged. Ice Age. Uh, yeah, I'm going to open this stuff. And, uh, you know, you can't just come by that stuff every day. Uh, let's see, Iconic the Art still is, artists drew and painted their art without computers, yeah, definitely, that's a, that's a big difference, which we'll see in a lot of these older packs here, uh, I'm sending these packs to share the community, times the MTG was a new game in town, magic was simple, to me more fun to play, I'm kind of with you on that, yeah, not sure how long you've been in MTG, since about Stronghold, I hope you enjoy Taking opening and taking a trip down memory lane. Of course I will. That's why I do this. I have my own stash of vintage packs. Um, I'm actually kind of dw uh, dwindling down. I don't have as many as I used to. I opened a big batch of booster boxes, and now I've been opening up for a couple years now. So I'm kind of running low on some older stuff. So this is perfect. Excellent. Let's see what we got here. So we got some Kaladesh all taped together with some extras, I guess, there. Got some Ice Age, got some Unhinged. This is a gift for me. Whoa, whoa, That I think I know what that is. Is that a pack of the dark? Holy crap. Well, we may get into that today or may, maybe some other time. Visions, amazing. Wow, you've sent me quite a smorgasbord here, Jason. So, uh, it's going to be Torment. Wow, excellent. So, this is going to be quite an opening here. Let me get set here and uh, <clears throat> see what I'm going to do here to get organized and uh, we'll save this one for later oh my gosh well, let's start with this Kaladesh so like it looks like he like heat sealed these back together I've never seen that from a just a standard guy you know what I mean <laughs> um, okay I'll carefully cut this open and, uh, and I mean carefully <laughs> how am I gonna do this let's see make sure I don't cut away from the cards, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. How are my knife handling skills today? This seems to be a, a rather dull razor knife, I gotta say. All right, we got some Pax Kaladesh. Definitely some possibilities there. Got the quick reference and some organizing stickers that would have come with like a holiday gift box. That's fun. Yeah, it looks like there's some dividers and things. So this, like, was that how they came in the holiday gift box just as is oh, okay interesting so Jason I probably gave you a little too much credit for having like a heat sealing machine <laughs> that's just how they came anyway there we go um, so we'll do those and then we'll get into these there's the chief of the foundry gift box sure sure enough I, I did have that right there a little lamp pack interesting all right well these are cool little dividers these are great for uh, um, dividing your cards that's what they're called right so I use these in my own big mess that I have behind me which someday I'll show you guys as I hopefully try to get it organized and these would have been handy for marking such things up anyway here we go Kaladesh we got two three four five booster packs of Kaladesh and uh, we'll definitely be scanning these up here it's just kind of my thing and and as as I said before all this stuff is going back to Jason in the end so I'm gonna kind of skip through We've got a lot of packs to get through we'll be looking for any of the the decent commons and uncommons here familiar gearsmith handicraft and aspire bluff canal very nice 
way to kick this off with the uh, Kaladesh dual land there. And that one is 1996. So that one gets a sleeve. Let's see. He gave me his own sleeves. That was these. I had some of mine ready to go as well. I'll just use these. So the canal gets a sleeve. And we're off to the races here. All right. And we'll kind of just do the rest of it. I'll, I'll let you sort them out when you get them in the mail back from me, Jason. If you saw my mess that I have here, you would know that organization is not my strong suit. Spectacle. Ah. See, I can't help myself to just stop and look at some of the art, even on these uh, commons and uncommons. Got to refurbish. Got a master trinketeer. He is only four cents. Big difference there. In the servo tokens. There we go. <clears throat> Kaladesh. Get some grubs. Gremlins, grubs, and gremlins, and vehicles. Love it. Skyway there. Bizarre Burge, Bard, got a tool craft exemplar, is a 45 cent card. Next pack. There's so many I have to like blast through these like to, to keep it quick or should I just slow it down? Let me know down below when it will be too late because I've already made my decision. You can play this video at um, like quarter speed if you want. I will sound really weird if you do that. Timepiece and Architect of the Untamed. 35 cents. Let's turn up my scanner sound. Get that satisfying ding sound if we get one. All right. Last chance at a masterpiece, unless there's anything else like that in there. The Reckless Fire Weaver. Let's get him up real close to the camera. There we go. Mind Rot. My buddy Unpacked always talks about mind rot, rotting your brain. Eliminate the competition. 35 cents. And a servo ticket. So, got Chief of the Foundry. I don't think, you might not even scan through the plastic. Ah, oh, it did. It's the promo, 66 cents. And you get a nice stack of lands right there. I might have to make a couple piles here. And those will head back to you. Soon. Let's see if we can get these in order. We got Ice Age. Visions, um, yeah, it looks like they kind of go back in time. I'm going to do the unhinged pack here first. Excellent. Ooh, Urza's Destiny, boy, and, and Legacy. You really went all out, Jason. Well, I wish you luck. I hope you get some really big pulls out of here because they're coming right back to you. Unhinged. So this one has kind of like a papery um, feel to it other than like all other magic cards are like, you know, Plastic, more plastic around. These have always kind of been interesting. Yep, hear that? That satisfying rip of paper. I don't know why, why didn't they do that with more sets? <laughs> our, our market research shows that players like really long card names, so we made this card to have the absolute longest card name ever. Elemental. Amazing. Got a card pecker. All right, we'll go through these a little slower. Loose lips. The fallen apart. Punctuate, shoe tree, little girl. She's got half half. Yep, and she costs half a white. Artful looter, farewell to arms, mana flare. Urza's his hot tub. Man, look at it. He's just a floating head. First come, first served. And a, a toglodyte. These are your uncommons. Looks like we get a land. We get a forest, which is pretty nice. And a look at me. I'm R and D. So the full art forest is 686, and look at me, I'm R&D with all the changes and stuff. I guess this is the rare, even though you can't see the symbol. It's a buck, and it is a rare. There we go. Awesome. All right, there's this destin destiny. Amazing possibilities out of this. Good luck, Jason. And we're going to get the uncommons first. So we do the thing. So we'll take one, two, three, four, and smush them to the back there. And there we got the, the commons. Multani and his decree. Oh, I, I like the goblins from the Urza's block. They're pretty fun. 
Haunting Elf, Horror, Sigil, Heart Warden, A Squirming Mass, A Fatigue, we got a Voice of Duty, the Metathran Elite, Incendiary, and ooh, oh my gosh, now that was a pick right there. You got a reserve list bomb right here, Rafalos Lanowar Emissary. So I had been uh, buying these on eBay uh, when I went through my uh, reserve list spec phase for about 20 bucks. They've come up quite a bit since then. Um, this is basically a, um, a guy's cradle um, on a creature. Um, well, sort of like that, right? It, it's really good for mono green. Yeah, $57.86. So great pull right there. A nice reserve list key card. Bit of a bomb. There you go. So let's let's show off our really good hits here. There we go. Alright. Let's do it again with Urza's Legacy. And let's see, throw the pack over there. And this has got the opposite pack where we got a Parch, Defender of Law, Plague Beetle, very nice, the Scion, Goblin Medics. I'm telling you, I love the goblins on in Urza's block. Burst of Energy, Fog of Gnats, Silk Net, R Flux, Multani's Presence, Martyr's Cause, Viacino Cutthroat, and Ooh, Phyrexian Plague Lord. So can't remember if this is on the reserve list or not. It's not a big money card. Maybe it's not a reserve list. It's 45 cents. Yeah, I don't think it's a reserve list card. It always, every time I see it, I'm like, wait. Oh, okay, maybe not. Anything Phyrexian could be big, right? Right. Okay. Let's open up this pack of Torment next. Expert level. And then we got a fifth dawn to go after that. Quite a nice batch of packs here. Get open though. There we go. This we want the uncommon. We want a Cabal Coffers out of here. We got a Soul Scourge. Croson Constrictor, yeah. Just take a look. Just take a look at that art real quick. Eddie Putrid Imp. Temper. Flash of Defiance. Got flashback. A snitch. That guy's unhinged. Got an enslaved dwarf. Arrogant Worm, Chainer's Edict, this is a good uncommon. There's the rare, Overmaster. And then, does that mean that the next one is an uncommon foil? It's a foil. Cephalid Sage, very nice. Okay, great, so let's do the, the Edict. 389, that's good. Overmaster. Oops. Hey, that's really good, 1381. Wow, you're, you're nailing it here with these packs. Jason, get some of these sleeves out. Overmaster is 13. And a Cephalid Sage. Let's see if I can get it to scan just like that. It's a 26 cent uncommon, but as a foil, it's 350. That went, uh, went up a little bit, and it's in very nice condition. And I'm not going to let anything happen to it. So, there we go. I don't know. Here we go. On to fifth dawn. Great. You guys are having a great day. I am. Got a KCO, not a KCI. A Thresher. Terranax. Cranial plating. It's a good common. Lose hope. Navigator. Scout. Prism, let's see, we got Eyes of the Watcher, Lunar Avenger, Knight's Whisper, that's a good one, and Beacon of Unrest, there we go, let's just do these uncommons, Knight's Whisper, four bucks for an uncommon, Cranial Plating, 65 cents, it's good for a common, there we go, Beacon of Unrest, it is a buck, it's a different version now, it is the fifth on, it's still a buck. There we go. All right, Scourge is up next. Unburden. 
Creepy. A Valisk? Hmm. Carrion Feeder. Good common. Break Asunder. Dragon Wings. <clears throat> Torrent of Fire. Lingering Death, man. Terrible. Silver Knight. Blade Wings Thrall. Chill Haunting. Parallel Thoughts. Alright, so Carrion Feeder is 94 cents. And Parallel Thoughts is 91 cents. There we go. Alright. Next pack we have here is Ice Age. I can tell you I've not opened much Ice Age. Um, probably a few packs when I was a kid. Oh, I've, <laughs> you're really going all out here, buddy. Alright, Ice Age. 15 tradable game cards. Let's get into it. Let's get a Necky P. We want a Necropotence. So I don't know what the order is, but I'm going to guess that these are the uncommons. Venomous Breath. I'm going to... Nah, we'll just go for it. Venomous Breath is probably an uncommon. I'm just going to scan it to be sure. Yeah. Sea Spirit. Snowhound. So the next one would be the rare. Lost Order of Jarkeld. 1-1 one, one plus Lost Order of Jarkeld has power and toughness each equal to 1 plus the number of creatures target opponent controls. All right. Well, if that's a rare, it's probably not a big one. It's a 49 cent rare from Ice Age. But let's look through the rest of these. Cool art. Just like hand painted even. Enervate. Disenchant. Sappers. A Bone Shaman. High Knight. Dark Ritual. That's a, that's worth pulling. Fetish. Balduvian Barbarians. Word of Undoing. Woolly Mammoths. And Orange Lots Ascent. There we go. Alright, so the Dark Ritual from Ice Age is 79 cents. It's a good keeper right there. Alright, Alliances, and then what's on the back? Ooh, a pack of Mirage. Awesome. Alright, this is another one. We want the Uncommon. There's some rares we would take as well. There's only 12 cards in this. So I've been opening up through a box. I have a box of, uh, of Alliances that I've been opening up, and I found two force of wills i think so far out of it let's see how you do here false demise should be the uncommon it's a common hmm limdol's paladin should be an uncommon right feast or famine so then the rare would be urza's engine it's got trample we can give it banding all right that says it's an uncommon hmm is feast or famine is a common so Urza's Engine might be like an uncommon three or something like that. Um, I don't imagine that these will be rares. Elvish Ranger, you want the other art, just saying. Legacy, Makers, Stormcrow, Agent of Stromgald, and the Aster Glider. Yeah, pretty sure hmm, the engine is technically going to be your rare. There it is. All right. Throw those in here. Pack of Mirage. Let's do it. Let's get the big dog out of here. Oh, there's a diamond. It's the wrong diamond. Alright, so just going to check. Is this the uncommon? Alright, so we're going to do the thing. Marble diamond is actually a buck. We'll pull it. So we're going to do one, two, three more to the back. And hope that rare is something big. Matenda lion. Look at this lion. Just wistfully wishing that it had blue mana going on there. Merfolk Raiders. Jungle Worm. Very cool. Dark Ritual again. We're going to have to scan that one up. Dazzling Beauty. Tinkerer. Benevolent Unicorn. Village Elder. Sapphire Charm. Blinding Agony. Soar. Vaporous Gin. Caravex Hex and an illicit auction is the rare. Choose target creature. Each player may bid life for control of that creature. You begin the beginning with a high bid of zero. Proceeding in turn, each player may top the high bid. The auction ends when the high bid stands. The high bidder loses an amount of life equal to the high bid and gains control of the creature. Interesting. I wonder if that sees any kind of commander play with a little bit of politics there. It's a couple bucks. There's your Mirage rare right there. And then a dark ritual is 73 cents. All right. All right, Jason, you're not doing too bad here. 
let's get into the, this visions pack and see how much more we can do. All right, visions. Quarion Ranger to start off with. Good common right there. We'll go ahead and scan it. 249. Got a Breeze Keeper. Parapet. Now, that was a common, right? This is not a rare, right? Infernal Harvest? Yeah, these are the these are all the commons, so I'm gonna watch till we get to the end. Fire Blast is a good common, I believe. Yeah, it's a buck. King Cheetah. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Gossamer Chains. Shrieking Drake. Dark Privilege. Swine Riders. Eye of Singularity. Is this the rare? Eye of Singularity, that's a rare. Yeah, that's a rare for three bucks. I believe it is a reserveless card. When it comes into play, bury all permanents with the same name except basic lands. Whenever any permanent other than a basic land comes into play, bury any permanent already in play with the same name. So, token killer, um, any kind of duplication strategy. There you go. So, that was the, the pack order was weird there. So, it's common, 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 rare, and then all the uncommons. So, we had wildebeest, pea stalks, and a coral atoll. So, whenever you see lands, you gotta at least scan them and just double check. That one's been reprinted, apparently. Commander Legends. There we go. All right, Nemesis and Mercadian Mask. Finish this off here. All right, so we got the uncommons. We'll flip them to the back there. Wandering Eye. The Downhill Charge. Cutter. Bringer. Infiltrate. Seal of Strength. Percher, Homunculus, we have Flowstone Armor, Mog Salvage, Wild Mammoth, and Belby's Portal. Hey, pretty good. Let's see what it's worth nowadays. It's three bucks. All right, Mercadian Masks is next. Uh, we'll flip this one up as well. <clears throat> Maggot Therapy, gross. Herbalist. Snuff out the Chirons. I don't. I don't like the goblins from Mercadian Mass. I don't know why. <laughs> I like the Urza's block ones better. Specter's Whale. Got Warpath, Cackling Witch, Trap Runner, and a Liability. Whenever a card is put into a player's graveyard from play, that player loses one life. That seems okay. It's only 50 cents. There we go. All right, so that does it for Jason's packs. He did pretty good, I'd say. A couple big hits there. And now, there's a gift for me. Gift for Tragic MTG. I believe that's a pack of the dark, which is amazing. Um, unless I'm wrong somehow. Let's see. Again, carefully cutting this tape off here. Oh, it's a. No, it doesn't want to slide right out. I gotta cut it. There we go. It's taped on there. Where's the end? I'm not sure what's going on with this tape. Here we go. Come on, tape. There we go. Booster pack of the dark. Amazing. So I think I've only ever opened one other pack of the dark, which was. Um, when I did my opening of one of every magic card ever, or magic pack ever, which I'll throw up here, if you haven't seen it already. Really good shape pack right here. It's like it came right out of a booster box, so that's pretty awesome. Only eight cards in this. Thank you very much, Jason. I appreciate it. Let's see how I do. I, I don't know what the pack order would be, so I'm just going to kind of go through them and hopefully I can figure out what the rare is. Wow. Martyr's Cry. I'll just scan all of these. All white creatures are removed from the game. Players must draw one card for each white creature they control that has lost this manner. Pretty interesting. Sisters of the Flame. Whoa. Okay, well, that was the rare. 17 bucks. That's pretty decent. So it's, what is that? Like a, it's almost like a Path to Exile for everything. Cool. Well, I really appreciate it, Jason. There's a Sisters of the Flame. It is uh, 
an uncommon, and then a common, and the drowned, and all these would be commons. Bog Imp, Marsh Viper, Goblin Shrine, Land Leeches. Very cool. All right, well, there you have it. That was quite an opening for me. Uh, Jason, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, it was a lot of fun to do. Appreciate my gift, and I'll send these off to you. For everyone else that watched, uh, let me know down below. How do you think it was? Uh, appreciate it. Um, like and subscribe, and check out my other videos. And I will see you on the next one.